Hey everybody, believe it or not, it has been six months since the last development update video for Aaron Shore, so it's time for another one. We'll call this the summer update, and we'll jump into what's been going on in development and what the plans are for the next few months. The main focus over the last few months has just been world building. The way I'm developing Aaron Shore is I'm just laying out the world geometry, the mountains, the trees, the fields and the towns and everything else and then I'm going to write the story into that. I have the story laid out, I know what plot points the player is going to run into, but for the subplots and the little add-on stories for flavor as well as the world history and lore, that's all being written around the world after the world's built. So if you see videos of Aaron Shore and you notice empty spaces or places that don't look fully developed, that's exactly why. The second development pass over these areas is going to add the flavor and the details and the stories that the player will encounter and enjoy. This method also lets me take feedback from testers and pivot the design plans where I need to. So, for example, in the last few months, I have actually have added dungeons to the game that weren't planned. We found a gap in content for certain level ranges, and so I was able to write in or work in a dungeon in order to help fill that gap. 24 of the 28 or so planned launch zones are fully constructed as far as geometry. Over the summer, I'm going to finish up the rest of the zone geometry, and then I'll be able to really dive into writing out and bringing to life the air and shore story. On the other end of development is the features, functionality, and quality of life of Aaron Shore. The biggest development so far is that it's now playable and very functional on the Steam Deck. As a byproduct of that, it also works with a gamepad right at your computer desk. And while these controls are available in the demo for testing, they still are in what I consider to be a very early iteration. There is room for improvement, and as testing and feedback comes back, I will make adjustments and we'll get these controls tuned up so it's a very comfortable handheld game. Steam Deck support was super important for Aaron Shore. Because it's a game that's intended for the busy gamer, being able to play it wherever you want and on the go and without internet, that just fits so well into what I'm trying to accomplish it had to happen. Over the summer, we're gonna look at using Steam's testing functionality, and we'll be opening testing to varying amounts of users for varying amounts of time, but we'll also be taking applications for people who want to come on and test full-time. So active testers during the Steam testing periods may be offered keys and early access to Aaron Shore in exchange for some feedback here and there without any real obligation on their part. In October, we have mentioned that we're planning on participating in Steam Next Fest and modifying the demo build to encompass a uh, GM event or to simulate a GM event on the island of Stowaway Step with a Halloween theme. That is still the plan. Steam Next Fest is also still the plan at this time. If for whatever reason Aaron Shore opts out of this Steam Next Fest, that GM event will still go on. We'll still advertise it and try to draw in a crowd. There will be prizes, there will be limited edition items and some other giveaways going on during Steam Next Fest, whether or not we're active in the festival or not. So make sure you check back on the Aaron Shore page for details or check in the Discord. So now is a good time to touch on some of the frequently asked questions that we get about Aaron Shore, and the most popular one of those being still, is Aaron Shore going to utilize large language models in other generative AI? That answer is still unfortunately no. Large language models are still not suitable for indie games of this size uh, as far as cost and hardware demands and Steam, well, it has lightened its stance on large language models and other generative AI, I'm still not comfortable implementing it into Aaron Shore at this time. The game is set up to utilize it if it ever does become a good fit, but don't plan on it for launch. Another major request is will Aaron Shore have a hardcore mode where if you die, your character is permanently dead, and yes it will. Hardcore mode is going to be present at launch in Aaron Shore, and I personally think you're nuts if you play it, but the demand is there, so it's coming. Just remember though, you can't blame the lag this time. Another major request is player versus player combat and overall griefing between the players. 
And well, player versus player combat is not a feature planned for launch, griefing is sort of already there. So if you're in a dungeon and a separate group of simulated players makes a bad pull or gets in trouble, they will run for the dungeon exit and they will bring dozens of monsters right over the top of you if they have to. It has happened to me in testing. It does not feel good, but it definitely feels MMORPG authentic. A lot of times people ask how many hours are going to be included with the game as far as gameplay goes, and that's going to depend. It's going to depend on how thorough you explore the content, whether or not you're diving into the quests or ignoring them, and the best estimate, around 100 hours. If you want to level up separate classes and play through the game more than once, you're going to get a little bit more time out of it, but there will be a lot to uncover and explore. There will be secrets to find, and if you want to try to theorize on what the lore means, you'll get even more enjoyment out of it beyond the hours in game. So speaking of the lore and the story, the way that's going to work is the player will have the option to dig into it as much as he or she wants. In Aranshore, your character is not a hero. You are not somebody who is the chosen one. You're not going to change the world, but you are just somebody who found your way to a new land and you're trying to make your way. Throughout, you will uncover antiques and old letters. You'll find people who know their history and you'll be able to piece together what happened to the land, what happened to your favorite characters. Why are things the way they are right now? That's the goal of Aranshore is just to get answers, not to be the answer. If you don't like digging into lore and stories, you really don't have to. You'll be able to experience almost all of the game content and not really understand why you're doing it, but you'll still be able to find those best in slot items and enjoy whatever sort of progression you want to enjoy. I also get asked all the time about the classes and will there be new classes? Yes, after launch, there will be new classes to air ensure if the demand is still there. It will launch with just the four classes that are available in the demo, and they fill every major role that an MMORPG needs. The Duelist is your DPS, the Arcanist is your crowd control and DPS, the Paladin is your tank, and the Druid is your damage over time, your summoning class, and your heals. There is not a Necromancer. However, there is room in the lore to create one with an alternate start, and that is definitely a stretch goal. One of the most frequent questions I also get is, will Aranshore have any multiplayer functionality? It's not going to at launch, and it most likely will not after launch. Aranshore is able to be modded by the community. If somebody wants to find a way to add it, I am all for it. But as far as I'm concerned, Aranshore is designed to be a single player experience. That's how the difficulty is balanced. That's how the game source code is written. And adding multiplayer at this point would be an undertaking so large, it would delay the game by a ton of time. So not on the list of goals for launch, but whatever the community does, the community does. I also want to talk a little bit about the launch plans for Aranshore. So Aranshore has been on schedule for a late quarter four or early quarter one 2025 launch. It is planned to launch into early access. Lately, I've been looking at the development schedule I have for a February or January launch in 2025, and it's questionable. It's a very aggressive schedule. I want to be very sure that when Aranshore launches into early access that it's still a complete game. I don't want to use early access as an excuse to launch an incomplete product. Aranshore has to give that wow factor the first time you get off the tutorial island and have the whole world at your fingertips. There has to be things to do around every corner. It has to have you feeling like you're lost in a new world. And piecing together a game post-launch is not the experience I want for Aranshore. So while the goal right now is still quarter one 2025, that goal is being examined and there's more news to come on that. If the launch is moved, we will announce it in Discord, we'll announce it on the Steam page. Just keep in mind for now that the launch date for Aaron Short is a moving target. Development is going extremely well. I work on the game every single day of the week for multiple hours, and I plan to keep doing that, but I want to make sure it's ready when it's finally released. 
There's some good news to share too, that Aaron Shore has been accepted into a community program through a local game publisher who's associated with a large tech school in my area. It's actually a top five game development program in the country. And they're going to provide mentorship for me. They're going to provide funding for the project and they're going to provide industry contacts. So Aaron Shore is going to have a lot more resources at its fingertips during development than it did a week ago. And that should really help improve the final product. There will be an official announcement about this soon in the game channels. Sorry for being so vague at this time. It's not actually been publicly announced yet that this is happening, but it's definitely worth sharing in this video because by the time it comes out, it probably will be publicly announced. I would love to hear your opinions, your questions, your thoughts. If you comment on this video, if you jump into the Aaron Short Discord, I am very, very active there and I'll monitor comments here. We can use it as sort of an ask me anything type of thread. Happy to talk about whatever subject you guys want to discuss. And uh, I always love talking about Aaron Short development in general. If you stuck with me this long, this is about 12 or 13 minute video at this point. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate the support so much on this project. Aaron Shore has been my dream game for years and to finally be making it and to have so much support behind it means a ton to me. Thank you so much, everybody. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll be making another one of these videos in about six months. In the meantime, I'll keep the videos coming on the YouTube of other development progress. Take care, have a great day wherever you are, and I'll talk to you soon.